another LEGO Megazord review and today we're going to be taking a look at the Prehistoric Surge Megazord. Now this is a re-upload because my last video glitched out so shout out to Shaz Games and Bionicle Boy. You two are the bros man for real. If it wasn't for you two I wouldn't have seen that so I'm happily glad to have people like that on my team and salute to you guys always. So as for the review let's get into it. So we got five dinosaurs or prehistoric animals. We have the red T-Rex, the blue Diplosaurus, or you call it the Loch Ness Monster, whatever you want to call it. We have the yellow Bumpachiosaurus, the black Pterodactyl, and the white Arctic Mammoth. So, we will go over each one right now, guys, so let's get into it. We're just going to sort of move these guys to the back uh, just a little bit, and we're going to work with red. Just have them sitting there. So, here is red's robot, and it looks great. Uh, this design of a T-Rex, I mixed it up with Grimlock, the MMPR Red, um, Dino Thunder Red, alongside of the uh, Dino Charge. So it's a lot. So articulation we have is just the mouth, you got a giant chomper, legs, you go 360 on a ratchet. You do have a bend at the knee joint and it can, leg can kick forward and there's also a hinge on his foot. So, really nice articulation for this figure. The same goes on with that leg. Just a satisfying ratchet joint. We also have articulated little T-Rex arms and a drill tail. So that's where the Dino Thunder inspiration comes from. I love T-Rexes with drill tails. I don't know why. I think Dino Thunder really set the bar. I mean, seriously. That's like one of the best seasons, man. All the dinosaur ones were the best. Hoping that... Uh, Dino Knights? I don't remember the name. But the new one that's coming out 2021, I hope that's pretty good. So there's that. Now we will go to the blue. So here is Blue's little sword. And it looks really, really nice. Um, just a simple little thing we got going on. Not too much. Uh, articulation. The neck can move in three different joints. So we have that, that, and that. So there's that. His tail can move. And his little tiny flippers can adjust like so but the bottom ones don't but in originality this was called the trilobite so I'm actually going to show you guys what it looks like just by simply this is how it was going to look it was going to be a trilobite until I looked at the end and I said wow it looks like a little face so I did that and boom now he's no longer a trilobite there's two modes for this guy so I guess that's pretty cool uh, yeah, so let's get on to the yellows. So here is his, and yellows is a bomb pachycosaurus. Now, bomb pachycosaurus are the one is the one. Ugh. A bomb pachycosaurus is a dinosaur with a hard head. This guy has a scissor tail like the Parasaurolophus in the Dino Thunder series, the green parasaur. So you have scissor tail, and I think it's pretty dope. You know, you just scissor guys up. So there's that. His head is on a ball joint swivels so you can get a little well a lot of articulation with his head his legs are also on a ball joint so you can sort of give him a little mobility and also his little arms are on hinges so that's cool so yeah that's pretty much it for yellows this is a pretty cool guy so set him down and let's go to the next one which is blacks and blacks is a pink and black pterodactyl so this is her zord it's really nice it's differently proportioned because of what the zord is made to do I did have it with the wings on top instead of the sides on purpose. So don't think that I don't know how to build a pterodactyl because that's clearly not the case here. I wanted it to be like this because there is a reason. And so we have a nice color scheme here, guys. We're really working with some good vibrant colors. We have a vibrant pink, red, black. Then we have a little dark gray with some white. So it's pretty cool and yellow. So we got a lot of colors here, guys. And articulation we have for this, the articulation, is just the flapping wings, man. That's all I got. And then the neck is articulated alongside of its little dinosaur fin thing. I don't know. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it, guys that let's get on to the next one and the next one we have is the arctic mammoth now this is the white zord and this is a really hefty brick this is a heavy zord so you can obviously tell that he's pretty big so he's going to be something that we all know which is legs so uh i shouldn't have said it but 
maybe i don't know uh he looks pretty nice though i will say that the white arctic mammoth really is a go for me his articulation is in the trunks his tusks are like a gunmetal gray and they have like these sparkles in them but i don't think you get the camera's not picking it up so i don't think you guys can see it but his head can do that and that's just about it for this guy we have a nice colorway though with the white the gray the black some gold some red yellow blue so that's a lot so guys now that the five dinosaurs are ready let's initiate the prehistoric surge megazord so first we're going to start off with reds of course and I'm holding true to my nature guys I'm going to always build zords you know this was what started it so we're going to fold these up first close the mouth a little bit I mean, you can open it it doesn't matter but then we're going to fold up these legs all the way collapse it rotate bring it up bring these legs up like that then you can take off the tail and this guy does have a lot of different weapons so that's pretty cool so there's that next we're going to get whites we're going to take off the head oh almost forgot take off this piece then you split it fold these pegs upwards voila we have our legs so then we get the crotch piece plug it in there are the legs now this is a weapon this can be a shield so we can fold down this pull tab and there is a shield just to like the mighty morphin so we're going to plug this guy right on there and he sandwiches on really well so he really can fit oh wow make sure the camera is right guys sorry about that you know just gotta adjust okay so there we are now that he's connected we can connect the other so let's start off with the yellow so with yellow we're going to first rotate these down then we're going to fold these over once we do that the head will just sort of just move downwards in place like that and then bam so there is that now pterodactyl take this off this is now a bow and arrow we go like that just sort of based off of Kimberly's so yeah then we get this fold it down fold that down Flip it out there's an arm also with a fist and a hole so there's that now yellows is like a it can be a sword or a scissor so you're going to see right now you're gonna plug in yellow plug in black yeah, I'm gonna open that up because I like the scissor arm. It reminds me just something different other than a drill or something. So with this, we're going to fold the neck all the way over like that. Then this will fit right snug. Fold these back. There's his face. So what we're going to do is plug this right on top where those four are. Bam, bam. It's a snug fit, and I recommend Tenkai Knights pieces to anybody because they really do give the uh, Lego robots a lot more personality because the shapes are different from Lego. Lego has regular shapes, but you can make more shapes out of them, but with a Tenkai Knights piece, it really does justice. So here is the Prehistoric Surge Megazord, and it looks great to me. I freaking love this thing. Uh, I want to make a part two. I don't know, but you guys, please let me know in the comment section down below. So, articulation for this guy. First, we have two uh, joints, so they can vary on how you move it. So, this one is just a full 360 ratchet. Oh, I just hit the camera. So, it's full 360 ratchet, guys. It's a little long, so, you know, but this one is a little different. You can 360 it all the way. And then you also have that double little hinge there, but... I try not to move that that much. And this is mainly for display. This isn't a playing Zord. So if we want to turn it into the sword mode, we're going to fold these back, his legs, yellows, and we're going to close this up. Whoa. Rotate it, and it is in sword mode. Now, to add to the sword, we will get shield, of course. So there's the mammoth shield and the sword. The Bunpaki Sword for the Jurassic Surge Megazord. 
So here is the Zora, guys, with its sword. It looks really, really nice. I love the color scheme. By the way, there is leg articulation to a limit. I almost knocked over the camera. Uh, his, his sword is really long. So you just have the leg and the knee. Sort of simple stuff, but at least you get a little bend there, right? So what else it can do? Well, besides it being just a giant scissor blade of a Zord, we can add a little more to it. So we're going to take this off. Then we're going to take this off. These will sit to the side. They don't really have a use right now. Then you get your arrow. That has a lot of use. Plug that in, bam. Then we're going to come to our drill. Plug that in sideways, bam. So now we have a drill arm and a bow and arrow. So the drill works the same, and we have the arrow. We can also take off the arrow if you don't want to use that. And we can come to the back, and we fold this. Well, let me show you guys again. And you, sir, need to move to the side just for a second. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to fold this forward. Put these down, whoops, without knocking it off. I tried to go through this review without doing that, but if when you're looking through the camera, it's a little harder to be more precise with your hands, but then again, you should know what you're doing. I don't know, maybe that's just me. I have giant hands, so building these things are fun, but <laughs> controlling them is kind of hard because my hands are huge and I have an intense grip strength. So, uh huh you can plug on his little wings i mean it just spun around which was not supposed to happen it's not in all the way okay right i mean the wings are a hit or miss guys hit and miss here guys uh there's his little face with the little visor in there uh yeah i guess we can put this in his hand looks cool the scissor blade is still available but yeah that's pretty much it for this review guys and this is Power Bricks signing off. Like, comment, subscribe. And if you guys are excited for birds, please stay tuned for my next video. Peace.